Prepping the towers with the wires should be fairly straightforward. So I got the wire out of the bundle, out of the packaging. That's out of the Rambo board. And then there's the red and black, which was also in the same package as this. So you have to strip this wire, which seems fairly easy. Just use a, a good sharp knife. Just to, why can't this, doesn't this thing focus? Hang on. All right, well, so use a good sharp knife just to slit the end, you know, about a centimeter. And then pull the, ins pull the insulation off until you see that little string. You can see that string right there, can't you? So now you just grab that string and just start pulling. And uh, it just slices the lining for or slices the insulation for you, just like I've been doing here. So you can see I pulled that string down a bit. And now you can just go right in and peel off the outer sheathing. So I'm going to do that, as the instructions say, to both of those and sort out the wires. Uh, the stuff has to be cut in half and half of it stowed away for a bit. And then, uh, here's the towers. These towers, they're beefy, man. I mean, they're, they're really solid. They feel that like they have a good weight to them. I mean, they're beefy. All right, back in a mold. And it's done. All the cables have been fed through the center of the T-slot aluminum tubes. Here's the four gauge whatever, or the four whatever, the other four whatever with the other two inside. Here's the end stops. So the end stops have been sleeved. Um, so this one's the short one that sort of loops back on itself. I only needed to sleeve a good chunk of it so that the part that comes down and is visible is definitely going to be sleeved. And you really can't sleeve much more than that, sir. I can't sleeve much more than that without really risking a problem. So that's what I did. These ones will be sleeved once I figure out where they actually go. They don't need to be sleeved yet. Um, so now you're wondering how I identify these. Well, that's pretty easy. You can see, sorry, <laughs> you can see there's black, blue, and white. And then down here on the other end, sorry, I'm really bad with my camera up today. I got white, blue, and black. So they just line up with these. That way I know which one's which. Next up is to install the tubes into the proper X, Y, and Z uprights and route some cables. All right. <laughs> and the uprights are installed. That was actually fairly easy to do. The T-bolts, the slot nuts lined up well into the T-slots and everything just went well. All right, let me try and... Uh, Okay, so up at the top we've got the end stop lines that are already sleeved. Uh, we got some wires here and some other wires here. <laughs> uh -huh. Still a lot of wooden parts left. I mean, yeah. Okay. So what's next? Uh, install, uh, assembling, installing, and wiring the top section. All right, well, let's do that. Here's all the parts I need for this step. I have the lower plate for the upper bits. <laughs> tower mount, upper tower mount supports. Uh, three set screws and the spreaders for holding or the spacers for the upper tower mounts. These just kind of go into um, I guess it screws into here. Not a hole, it's a slot, but that's definitely where it goes. Huh, okay, well that's weird. I wonder why it's a slot. So they, and then it just gets set into here. And then it gets installed up there. You can hardly see them. <laughs> All right. And that's that. Took a little bit of monkey business getting these in there and 
especially this bit. That was a hard press because there's really no slop in here, but you have to spread these pretty wide so you're really pushing and you're you hear a slight crack maybe as it just it reaches its limits. And so that's that. Next step is to install the uh, end switches. About to install the... Why do I can't I focus? The end stop switches. They go right in here. So we've got the little bag of bolts and nuts. Okay, just uh, shouldn't take too long. And there's the end stop switches installed. Now to put all the T's, the slot nuts in. And then, yeah. And that's the end of that step. All the slot nuts are installed. I've gone back to referencing the original manual a lot more now, not just the second edition, because I don't think the second edition made it quite clear which way to have this plate up, and I accidentally didn't have it upside down. Um, I tried taking these apart. I tried taking these apart so that I could flip it and build it the right way, but seriously, once you get these things together, you're not getting them apart. Not without, I don't know. That's just ain't going to happen. <laughs> so there's really not a big difference. So I'm just going to go with it. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So next up, uh, let's see. Uh, the next step is cheapskate bearing. So I think we're going to call this a video, an episode. And the next step is moving on and putting together a whole bunch of cheapskate stuff. Alrighty, thanks for watching. So the second edition manual and the original manual deviate at this point in assembly order. So I'm going to continue with the second edition manual for this bit. And that is just finishing off the upper towers. Installing the roller idler bearings actually on this side. Right now the plate's upside down. <laughs> and then mounting it up on top of the uh, machine. So let's continue on and get that done. Well, that went on really quite easily, actually. It wasn't much difficult. Very, really. I mean, <laughs> I'm a little surprised at just how easily that went on. It's definitely starting to look like a, a lot of fun. Let me try and back up here. All right, uh, what's next? Connecting the end stop switches. The end stop switches are now plugged in. And I tell you, it was easier mounting this top than it was to plug those in. <laughs> the spade plugs are, or the plugs uh, are really tight. Now, interestingly, I thought I was being quite conservative when I sleeved these, but I still made them, interestingly, just a little longer than I uh, really wanted them to be. But I'm okay with that. Oh well. Okay, what's next? What is next? I'm just tying them down. So just a bit of wiring. All right, so I'm gonna keep going with the wiring. So all the wires are routed now. We got all the wires hanging down. Now, first thing I've noticed is there is a problem with the fact that my plate here was in fact upside down. And like I said, I tried to take these apart, but I couldn't. I didn't really want to break anything. So, the problem is, is that these should have been... Anyways... Yeah, this 
see these little holes here? They should be over here so that I could tie this down and now things are a little bit weird and I don't know if this is going to make things go bad or not. <laughs> uh, so all that's left now is just to tighten everything up. Everything is all just dead loose. Now I'm just going to tighten everything up. Back and we're back and we're back. So that's a done deal. It's all tight. I took out my square and I checked the uprights and they were all bang on. Like seriously, they were all just bang up. I didn't even uh, adjust them. Uh, I checked them before I tightened them and just... They're just all fucking bang on. I mean... There. As soon as I get it out of the slot. Yeah. Sorry, my camera wasn't even right. So that's the end of that. Now we go on to the cheapskates. So this is the end of this episode. I'll tack this on. I know I thought I was ending it earlier. Uh, so problems that I had was that I forgot to... <laughs> so who guessed that I was actually missing a set of wires? When I threaded all of those towers and did all of that, I was actually missing one set of the black and red wires. Now you might be thinking, oh man, you had to take it all apart. No. <laughs> actually feeding in just that pair of thin wires was actually really easy for me. So here, I don't know. If you look over here, you can see, see some of my raw materials that I have. So in here, I actually have these very thin carbon fiber rods. You can see how small that is. Uh, I also have a whole variety of kite line, uh, including some very thin stuff. So what I did was I just taped the line to the end of that. I took out the roller bearing, and I just shoved the line down the tube. Just slid this up a bit because it wasn't uh, tight, right? Until the uh, carbon rod with the line attached poked out the bottom. And then I just pulled off the line, pulled the carpet tube back out, I then taped the missing set of red and blacks to the string and fished it right on out and I was done. It really wasn't even frustrating. I looked at it and was like, oh crap, I have to do that. Um, so the interesting thing is, is I actually already thought about that scenario. How would I do that? And yeah, it worked out really nicely. It was very easy. And we are done with the build. So my plate is backwards and I still haven't figured out how much hassle or problems that's going to give me yet. I'll be looking at that now. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.